So hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Data Pairs. This is Mara and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how you can build a tooltip that looks like this. Um, and yeah, because that is a little bit of a trick that you have to do to basically achieve something like that. I've heard uh, a lot of people say that they didn't know exactly how to build these tooltips if you don't have something like a chart or a KPI card. So how do you do that over an image or over a button or something like that. If you want a custom tooltip, then it's not very easy to build. You need, again, some tricks to build that. And I'm going to show you today all the tricks that I use to um, build my custom tooltips over images, buttons, shapes, whatever you want. It's the same method works for everything. And again, it's a really, really nice way to have more information on your report without necessarily cluttering the page, filling the page full of text boxes or full of visuals that will slow down your report and it will give your users a really bad experience. And that's not what we want. We want to create amazing data experiences, right? I always, all the time. So. Let's go to the tutorial and I'm going to show you now how you can build this custom customized tooltip. I'll see you there. So here we are in our report. This is my sample report. And before we actually do anything, I just want to show you again how this works in kind of practice. So if you hover over this button here, you can see that that is a custom tooltip. Usually the tooltips don't really show like this. You can add text to your tooltips. You can have custom tooltips or you can use them better in charts, in KPI cards like this, uh, but not over images or buttons or shapes. And again, sometimes it's really, really useful to have this kind of custom tooltips over different things that, in us, that are not just charts. One of the examples uh, which shows a uh, text and uh, in this other example you can even show again just to show you that you can show charts you can have like small tooltips, big tooltips. Again it's a custom tooltip so you can do whatever you want with it. Very very nice so your report doesn't look so cluttered and still shows a lot of information to your end users. So how did I build this? So the first thing you need to do is to add your visuals like those icons. Um, in this case, I used buttons, but again, you can use an image or a shape. It's the same thing. So I'm going to, actually, this is not the button that I want. I'm going to add uh, the help button. Okay. So now I'm going to format it a little bit because you can, you can, barely see it. It's very, very... Uh, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste, as per usual, this icon. I'm going to drag it here somewhere. And now I'm just going to change the icon type. So if you go here, this is the help one. I'm going to change to information one. So here are my two buttons. So again, if you try to add a custom tooltip to the button itself, if you go here to general, it doesn't even have tooltip. So um, yeah, once you set up the action to this button, then you can have a tooltip, but it's just text as you can see here. So it's not really what I want because again, I can write any text I want and I will show you how this shows up here in my tooltip. So see, it's not necessarily the same thing. And if you want to add again a lot, a lot of text or something more custom, then you can't really do it. So how do, do we go around this? I figured out a very tricky, tricky way to do this. So again, you need a, a, a normal chart or a KPI to actually be able to use custom tooltips. So the closest thing and the neatest thing that I found um, was the KPI card or just card. Actually, that is one KPI card here somewhere. Yeah. So this is just a card. I added the card, but before that I needed a blank kind of, um, measure. So what I've done is I've created this measure here, which is literally a blank, just a blank, um, and the quotation marks. So that is one thing though, that I don't know why this happens but if you don't put here this space like i have here 
if you don't put here this space, if you if you leave it like this, then this won't really work. So please put the space there. Here, don't forget the space. Okay, so I'm just going to add the space so that I make sure everything works. So now that I have my KPI card and the measure, I'm just going to drag the measure here to my to the fields in my KPI card and I'm going to format it so I don't want it to, to show the category label. I'm not even worried about the callout value because it won't show anything. It's a blank measure. Uh, and in general, I don't want header icons and under the effects, I can remove the background. So this is becomes transparent. So here we have uh, our kind of transparent square. And this is going to be our main trick. So I'm going to drag and put this transparent square KPI card on top of my button. So now it looks like I have nothing there, right? Because this is a KPI card. If I go to general, and I try to get my tooltips, now I can use a custom tooltip. So you can use the tooltips, any tooltip that you want. So if, if I want to use one of my pre-built tooltips, I can select it here. And now when I hover over it, it shows my custom tooltip. So you can do the same thing uh, for this one here. And one of, one of the beautiful things about the solution is that this blank value if you want to use it like this, you don't need to like create loads of different measures. This blank measure will serve you for all the different custom tooltips that you have. In this case, it's showing the text. So if I copy paste the same kind of transparent KPI card and I drag it here, of course, because I didn't change the tooltip, it will still show the text. I can go to the um, options here and simply select a different tooltip. That's it. Pretty, pretty easy. And it's a very, very nice um, solution if you want to show more information without cluttering the page again. Um, so again, just changing the tooltip, the same measure works for everything. And now the last thing is, how do I actually create these this tooltips, uh, these custom tooltips, if you don't know how to create them? So you just have to uh, open a new page, create a new page. Um, under the page uh, information, you need to select allow use as tooltip. This is very important, otherwise it won't show in that list of tooltips that uh, we saw before. It, this will automatically kind of mini, create a very mini report page. Um, and you can, if you're not happy with the size, because again, it might be like smaller or bigger, you might want something smaller or bigger, you can go to the canvas settings um, and here in the type, instead of tooltip, just select costume and no, this won't affect the, this selection that you've made here. This will stay the same. So you can, for example, make this one a little bit smaller if you want. So the page shows like this and everything I've done is just add, uh, some text or you can add a chart. It's really up to you what you want to, oh, eh, this. This is a little bit of a problem. It's a bit annoying, actually. You can change the size here. So here we are, we have a text box. Creating things in tooltips can be a little bit annoying sometimes. So I can add some text here. Of course, this is not like very useful, but anyway, I can change the name to tooltip three, go back to my main page. And now again, because I have another uh, tooltip, I can go here to general tooltips and select my new tooltip. And now again, without having to change the measure or doing anything else, this um, will show my new, my new tooltip. And again, I'm not going to, this video is not focused on showing you how to create custom tooltips. So I just wanted to give you like the basics of how to create them. If you don't know how to, this solution is pretty amazing because again, you can use the same measure and kind of the same visual over and over again and you just have to go to the options and just change the tooltip the tooltip page and this will work for everything again it will work for buttons you can make this bigger if you have a bigger image imagine you want the tooltip to show up here for some reason you can make this really really big 
and now when you hover over this it still shows the tooltip so you can put this tooltip anywhere so it's really really nice so i hope you enjoyed my video and as usual just like comment you know the drill subscribe all of that if you have any ideas for my next videos just drop a comment below looking forward to listen to your ideas and to create more amazing content for you i'll see you in the next video